Hey, I'm Ed, and welcome back to my channel, Kiwi Eden Oz. Today, I'm back with another taste test, and I'm trying out some low-carb, keto-friendly chocolates that you can get at the supermarket. So, today, I've got three of the milk chocolates, and I've got three of the dark chocolates. Um, and the Lint brand, which is my favorite brand, and it's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to start with Halthery's. Uh, this one's milk chocolate with a smooth center. Now you can get these at Woolworths, and they were on special for $1.70 this week. There is... Uh, 1.3 grams of carbs per serve, which is the whole little pack. And what's uh, this one's made with stevia, I believe. Yes, so this one's sweetener is stevia. I'm just gonna have a little. Oh god, I put them in the fridge. That's milk chocolate, and it's got a little bit of, um, I think it's dark chocolate in the middle. Okay, straight up, that doesn't taste like normal chocolate. Um, and speaking as a Cadbury Caramello devotee, or well, ex-devotee, yeah, this doesn't really taste like, um, Cadbury's. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Tastes a bit fakey, but it's okay. I don't really eat a lot of chocolate anymore anyway. I've got chocolate on my tablet. Oh no, gone. I mean, it doesn't taste like Cadbury's. Or even um, Whitaker's. It's... Yeah, you can kind of taste the, the fake, but that's alright. When you're on keto, you do what you got to do. Okay, so next one I'm going to try is... Oh, I lied. This one's a dark chocolate with salted caramel. And that is... 1.1 grams of carbs. And that one's stevia as well. See, I'm okay with stevia. Um, yeah, note about fake sugars. Not everybody is compatible with certain fake sugars. I'm okay with stevia, but um, I'm not sure which other one gives me a really sore stomach. I'll have to check out the ingredients list. Oh, Christ. I'm just going to bite it. Dark chocolate salted caramel. I sort of taste the salted caramel. It's not very strong. It's not like caramello. Which is awesome. And I miss it. Next one. So this is the Well Naturally um, Milk Chocolate. They did have, uh, they were out of ugh, the one with the honeycomb bits in it. And I can't have the one with the raspberry in it. So that was all I had left. Now this is, these are $2 on special at Woolies this week. Um, oh, where's the carbs gone hiding? Carbs are 1.6 grams and there's three servings per package. Let me just give this a taste. So this is the milk chocolate one. It doesn't taste like real chocolate either. It's okay in a pinch if you're really missing your um, milk chocolate on, on while you're doing the keto. It's not bad, but I think I'd just uh, do the normal chocolate. Because it tastes nicer. That's a bit strange. Okay, next up I'm on to the dark chocolate. I'll go with 
I'm going to go with coconut rough. This one's the coconut rough flavor. And this is uh, well naturally as well. Carbs is one, point, uh, one gram of carbs. And again, I think there's five, oh, three servings per package. Oh, so that's two pieces per package. I mean, you could eat all of this, and what would that be? Three, that would be three grams of carbs. But if the sugar, the artificial sugar doesn't agree with you, you may end up running to the toilet. Okay. Oh, yeah, I smell coconut. Oh, it's crispy a little bit. It's quite nice. And it is dark chocolate. Hmm. That's all right, I like that. Yeah, and again, this one's made with stevia. That's nice. They did have this one in a, um, the milk chocolate, but they didn't have any left. So I thought I'd just try the dark one, just to see what, if it's all good. Um, next I have almond chocolate chip in the dark, the dark chocolate. Again, two dollars on special at Woolies. Uh, this is zero point eight grams of carb per serve, and there's three in the packet, which is. I'll oh, come out. Two. Two of those. Actually, I think I saw a wreath on there. Did I see a wreath I did too. So this one might not, oh, this is, might be stevia and erythritol. They're still keto friendly, so, and low carb. Mmm, for dark chocolate, that's nice. Doesn't have much almonds in it. You can see a couple of little bits. Yeah, there's not many almonds in there. The coconut one's better because it's got more coconut in it. Mm. That one's alright too, so that's almond chip. And the last one for the well naturally is oh, I've got chocolate on the mint. Mint crisp. And this is 0 0.7 grams of carbs per serve, so if you ate the whole bar, 2.1 grams of carbs. And really that wouldn't be so bad, you know, if you need your damn chocolate fix. But yeah, just be wary because it does have, they, I think they might all have erythritol in them and stevia. And erythritol is a, one of the fake sugar, uh, artificial sugars. Okay, let's have a try. Oh yeah, minty. I don't know if you can see it, there's big, like crystally bits of, um, oh, over this way, big crystally bits of mint stuff in there. It's nice. I was actually expecting, um, oh, I didn't read it properly. I thought it might be the, with the liquid center. It's nice though. Oh, very minty. Okay, I've got three more left. This is my favorite brand of chocolate. It's actually made with, it actually has normal sugar in it. So it's not got no fake sugar in it. But it is 70%. So um, it's taken me a long time to get to 70. Because I like Caramello. Cadbury's Caramello is my all time favorite chocolate. And it's taken me, because uh, I started eating this, well, trying to get up to 70 before Christmas sometime, so at the moment, I can handle 70. So, 70% cocoa, and that's 70% cocoa. Let's have a look at the carbs. So it is 6.6 .6 grams of carbs per serve, which is 20 grams, which I think is two, two of these. But if you can't, uh, if you are not used to 70% chocolate, you won't eat the whole thing anyway. You'll just be like. So that's the lint chocolate. 
great brand, uses real sugar. Mm. I've gotten used to this one now. And it's good. Sorry, get your tissue. It's really hot here. It's hot as a mug in my lounge. And even outside, it's really hot. And I put a little chocolates in the fridge so they wouldn't melt. Because otherwise, I would have chocolate everywhere. Okay, what have we got this one? Oh, this one's melty. My bad. This is a 78. I'm really not kind of keen to try this one. I remember the last time I tried it, it tasted like a mouthful of cocoa powder. But for this video, I'm going to try it. Okay, just a little bit. So what's that one? Okay, the carbs on this one are 4.8 per two squares. And again, normal sugar. So it's just 78% cocoa. That's my next mission, is to get to 78 from 70. Wow. My ultimate goal is to try and get to 90. But that's going to take at least another year or so. I mean, it, it took me ages to get used to 70. And it's going to take a bit longer to get to this, used to this one too. So, wow. Oh, now I'm going to try the 85. Okay, this one is 3.8 grams of carbs per two squares. Uh, and again, maybe normal sugar. So you're not going to get the trots from, from eating this chocolate. You just might not like the taste of cocoa powder. Okay, just trying a little tiny bit. Because if the 78 was, yeah, 85 is going to, just do it. Tastes like I mix cocoa powder with water and just put it in my mouth. I taste no sugar. Just cocoa powder. Man. Alright. I gotta make my way there. I will at some stage. I will I will get to 85, but right now I, it's gonna be a mission getting to uh, 78, so. Because these are I'd prefer to have one that had normal sugar in it, just a higher cocoa percentage. Even though these other ones are keto friendly as well, some artificial sugars aren't good for me, and yeah, they will they they will make you go to the toilet if you eat too much of it. Would I eat those other ones again? Yeah, in a pinch, especially if I felt like um um no, not that dairy. Didn't like that one as much as I like this one. So this is the uh, milk chocolate. Definitely get this one again. And was only that one was on special for a dollar seventy, but I think it's only like a dollar ninety five or something normally. So if I, if I really wanted some chocolate, like milk chocolate, I would go for that. And I do like the mint one. Where are you, Mister Mint? It's the other one I'd probably get. They do did have this one in the milk chocolate as well, but there was none left in store because people like this kind of stuff and they just buy everything. It's not fair. Okay. So that's my video for today. Hope you enjoyed. Laters. I'm outies. <laughs>